Yo, nerdlings! What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for Castlevania? Hey, what's that? Let's take a look. It's time for a closer up. That's right, Castlevania figure. Wait, why are we opening a toy in here, not in my toy room? Uh, it's Castlevania. It's games. Oh, that makes sense. Although, this is the one from the Netflix animated series, so y yeah, you've lost me. I've lost me. Yeah, not only is Netflix stealing away all of your time with some binge watching and maybe some chilling, um, but they are also <laughs> getting into the toy market by putting out some cool figures. There are three figures. However, I was only interested in Alucard. I had to have the Son of Dracula of Castlevania 3 and Symphony of the Night fame and now his own show fame. Trust me, it's his own show. Don't let those Belmonts sway you otherwise. Alucard, son of Dracula. Woken from his long slumber when he is needed most, he finds himself drawn into a battle for the survival of Europe, a region that has brought doom upon itself by taking away the one thing its greatest monster loved. This action figure of Alucard is based on his appearance in the TV series Castlevania on Netflix. It features approximately 16 points of articulation and includes multiple accessories. We did get this at GameStop, and if you are interested in those other two, they have Sifa and Trevor. <laughs> Trevor. Well, we got our toy. He's in his box. So, as Lady Lacey does with all of her toys, we're just going to put this nicely on the shelf unopened, right? No! We open these things! Ooh! Smells like a beach ball. Woo! There he is! He did not want to come out of there. Look at those L'Oreal locks, baby. Woo! Now, he does have some good points of articulation here, too. Oh, he's got that uh, triple knee joint, which is really nice. Really allows you to really bend that knee in there. Looks like he's got some ankle movement as well. And right there are his boots. That's kind of nice. Yeah. His arms, too. Some good motion in his hands. And speaking of his hands, as you can see in the accessories, <laughs> you have so many different ones to choose from. We have the ha, and then the ones that hold the swords, and then the punchy ones. He could do a few stomach crunches, not too much. Some of that may be because of his long coat. And he does have a different head that gives he him a does. different expression. This head is what the open mouth with his fangs showing. Blah. Blah. I don't say blah, blah, blah. His coat seems to have that nice yeah. vinyl plastic that gives it a little bit of movement. They didn't resort to cloth on it, which I personally like the vinyl stuff like this better. I do too. It seems to last longer and doesn't get as lost. I, li I think it looks pretty cool. He comes with two swords. He's got a bit of an energy blade going on here, which is really cool. He's got one hell of a long sword Holy there. Cow. That's thin. Best of all, you can use it in the sheath. I love figures yeah. that can sheath their weapons, whether it's guns or swords, anything. If you can sheath it, attach it to them, I love it. It's so cool. The only thing that I don't like about it is there is no way to attach the sheath to him in any way. So basically, he would have to hold it. Like, it doesn't attach to his belt or, like, his back or there's no strap or anything. <laughs> Ungald. Have at you. 
Look, heads will roll. <laughs> and I'm normally the one with the bad joke. Ha 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 ha. Shut up. Get out. This is a very fun figure. I like the simplicity behind mm -hmm. it. And he's got just enough motion and articulation in him that you can really pose him, have some fun with him. And he's going to look great in the game room with some of the other video game yes. toys. And it's finally time we got some Castlevania I toy know. love in the yes. house. That's a franchise that I think has been long overdue for some sweet toys. I think the only one we have is the Succubus. Ooh, that is right. Long ago, I got you a sweet yes. Succubus figure. So it looks like uh, Alucard won't be so lonely after all. Nope, and he is pretty neat looking. He'll be a great companion to continue to watch Castlevania on Netflix. All right, nerdlings, I would love to hear some comments on whether or not you picked up Alucard yourself or maybe some of the other figures, or better still, if you are watching Castlevania on Netflix, what do you think of the series? Maybe uh, hold off on some spoilers just in case someone mm -hmm. hasn't watched it yet, but leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Pop over to Tee Public because we have merchandise over there. Go hit us up on the Retro Refresh because there's a lot of fun content on there. And if we like it, we nerd it. All right, Alucard, the power is yours. The power of Grayskull? My life forever changed the day I held my magic sword aloft and said, By the power of Castlevania! Huh. He became a tree. This is unexpected. Now, there is... There is three. There are three. <laughs> Don't answer that, Tom. Future Tom, past Tom, a Tom, the Tom. Or, if you want to leave some comments about Netflix, the series on... Netflix, the series on Netflix? Netflix, the series on Castlevania. Ask your cable provider for the Castlevania Network today. <laughs> oh, that'd be a fun network. Bop it to start. Don't start it. <laughs> <laughs>